Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about the Junior Kimbrough song, Nobody But You. The Black Keys also covered this song. We'll talk about how they approached it, the main riff, variations, and, and solo strategy. I'm gonna switch over to my acoustic so it's easier for you guys to follow along. Now essentially this is a call and response where he'll play the main riff and then kind of do response phrases, often playing what he's singing. Let's start with the main riff and it sounds like this. That's the main riff. A very simplified way of looking at that is just these notes. And then he's adding kind of ornaments, meaning where you play. Now notice I'm plucking kind of pairs of strings sometimes. Okay, and sometimes it can kind of sound like you're accidentally playing extra strings, but really you're harmonizing it by just holding the finger down as a bar. Okay, some other cool little ornament type things that you're gonna hear is little hammer-ons. So sometimes I'll play it like this. So that last bit, he's kind of doing a little hammer-on. Okay, now that's an extra thing. You don't have to include that, but that's something that you'll hear him play. And also Dan plays that from the Black Keys too. Now, after you repeat the main phrase three times in a row, then you have this kind of response phrase. The very first time he plays it with no bass, this is what it sounds like. You notice the notes that are in parentheses. Those are gonna be the notes that you can add if you wanna add some. Some of that extra harmony and kind of extra flavor to the melody notes. Okay, so essentially that's the main riff and, and if you have that down, you can start playing the song really with a band. That is the most important part of it. If you really hate doing this thumb over the neck, you can play all of it using an open string like this. When Junior plays this song, he actually phrases the main phrase a little bit differently some of the times. It has the same kind of emotional feel, but the order of the notes is a little different. Instead of... There's one other little variation that he adds sometimes, and the black keys also add this too, but it sounds like this. Okay, now notice what I'm doing is, when you start doing slides, it's really hard to keep the thumb over the neck, so you can switch at any point to start doing open A string. Okay, notice I'll switch just when that phrase comes up and switch back to the thumb over the neck for most of the phrases. And I think that's how Junior plays it as well. When he starts singing, however, he starts adding in playing what he's singing on the guitar. So he's playing the melody, and that sounds like this. That's where he's singing, nobody but you, darling. Okay, so he's singing that melody while he's playing it. Other variations of the melody, he'll sing this. Nobody but you, yeah. Okay, notice sometimes we're harmonizing that with a note below, and then sometimes above. Okay, so feel free to kind of mix those back and forth. Another vocal melody phrase that he'll play is like this. That's where he's singing the word baby. So he's going. Okay. One of the last vocal phrases that he's singing is when he sings this. On my mind. Okay. And that gives you the main phrases that he's going to sing. So let's switch back to the electric. I'll fire up the drums and the bass, and then we'll play some of these phrases that he does for the solo. Junior will arrange his improvisational solos often in this fashion. He'll play four bars of a call phrase, which is just improvised in oftentimes in box two. Sometimes it'll go from box one to box two, or even higher on the neck. But then after that call phrase, after he plays four bars of improv, he'll often go back to the main phrase. And play that for four bars. Let's take a look at the positions that he's playing in so you can take some of these notes and make your own improvised solo. This is the backing track that's available for FGA members. The bass line is just playing the main phrase. Let's get into box two. Okay. Often Junior will not play the monotonic thumb when he's doing solo stuff. You can, but for now, let's just keep the notes by themselves. This is box two. How to 
get from box one to box two, the pathway is on the third string. Box one to box two, follow that path. If you want some more energy, let's come up to the top of box four. Box top of box four. Sometimes I'll end these solos in the top of box five on the root note. Remember, after all this, you can go back to the main phrase. Another way that you can get from these boxes and maneuver your way around is to use a drone string. Let's come back up to the top of box four. This time, what I'm going to do is just play this. I'm using E, the high E string, as a drone note. It gives you some extra cool notes and a little bit of extra harmony in your phrase. <laughs> so now let's just talk about some specific phrases that the black keys are going to play and also some specific phrases that Junior likes to play so that you can copy them and put them in your own playing. Getting into the solo follows this pattern like this. So you're playing the main phrase. That's how Dan from Black Keys always kind of gets into this box too. It's very similar to the way that Junior does it. He's traveling up that third string to get into box two. Let's hear that in context. Then I'll often play phrases that go back from box one to box two, phrases like that. One of the main phrases that Junior plays all the time is this one. That little hammer on phrase, you hear him play that a lot. Plays it here too. So those are a couple phrases getting into the solo. One phrase from box three, let's check that out too. It's... Let's hear that in context. Let's use our drone string to get from the top of box two to the top of box four. Let's start with our main riff. this top part of box five, just the root note again, to have a climax of energy for the end of the solo. And then often back into the main phrase. So use those positions and how you can get from position to position and the notes to craft your own solo and practice doing the solo bit and then going back to the main riff. So I had a lot of fun showing you this and thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one.